da da Hello, hello, hello. Let me see if I can do this. Hope you can see me there. Yep. Okay, my name's Kurt Sparks. I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna show you my books and basically one of my magic shows because I have a ton of them. So here we go. Let's do it. But, uh, all right. Let's look at the bottom show first. Let's see if I can get this. These are some of my cases. This one right here, the big one, silver one. That one was a present for Christmas I got from my mother. Uh, it was $80 for that big case, and it opens up in a lot of different ways, and I bring it to all my shows, so if you're going to book me, that's the case I'll be bringing. And back here, I have, I don't know if you can see, let me see, bring it out here, it's backwards. I use this for when I'm just going to a relative's homes, just a small little case, it's made to look like a book. See that there? And you just put your stuff right in there. So I put that in there. Okie dokie, and this is a big suitcase looking thing. That thing's awesome. Now we're gonna move up to the second shelf. My books. Alright. Uh, first book is called Magic. Uh, Ricky J has some writing in there, if you know him. Look at his name at the top. Ricky J there, he's a famous magician. And a well-known historian, so he's in there. He writes a passage in there. Next is Illusionology. That was a present for um from my aunt for my birthday. She got it for me. My aunt Sam. So special yell out to her. Next, this was a present from my mother for my birthday. You gotta remember, I gotta tell them everything to buy me because they don't know what to get for me. Uh, Edward Edward Marlowe's Revolutionary Card Technique is recommended by Bill Malone. It's one of the greatest books in magic. And it's funny because it's not a book about how to do tricks. It's a move book, all about moves, gambling, cheating too, like second centers and bottom section. Next we have the book Close-Up Magic by Nicholas Einhorn. Nick Einhorn is a well-known magician. He uh, did the tr he uh, made the trick Next Nest of Wallets. So if you like that trick, there's his book. Not a... This book is uh, pretty good. This is one of the first books I ever got. Next we have uh, Magic, the Complete Course by Joshua J. well-known book for beginners. And it goes to some advanced stuff in there. Some of it, I would say, for really, really beginners. Next we have um, Mark Wilson's Complete Course in Magic. That is a great book. That is actually, I believe, could be could be wrong here, but that's the first book I ever got magic first book of professional that's from my uncle Rich and my aunt Tanya special yell out to them if you're watching and I'm sure they are uh, next book is not a magic book but it's an optical illusion book this one's great I like it a lot see a Obama picture there next we have the gamblers that's not a magic book either it's on gamblers all about the history of gamblers cheats and stuff you gotta remember I'm a huge fan of card table artifice and cheating. I love it. And I, I love hustlers, con artists, and uh, just great. So, next, also from my Aunt Sam, is the Encyclopedia of Card Tricks. Some Most of these tricks in here are what we would call today semi-automatic. They happen automatically once you do the things. Not very slight of intensive. All right. So, uh... These are very old books. It's by Gene Hugard. You probably know him. He helped with the book Expert Card Technique. And, uh, well, the book, I go through books like these, Magic in Your Pockets by, uh, uh, I don't know his name by my mind, but they're old tricks that today, it's not going to wow an audience. It's not going to freak you out or make, not necessarily freak you out, because that's not what I'm all about. I like just a good trick that you would do. These are more of simple tricks for beginners. But they're very, very old tricks. I go through the old tricks book, like Encyclopedia of Card Tricks, and I take the ideas of the trick and try to make my own effects. Later in another video, you'll see effects that I made. Right? Uh, this book, I love this book, it's tiny, so I'm going to bring it out. It's called uh, Martin Gardner's Science Magic. All things that happen by science. I'm not going to waste your time and put it back.
back because it'll take a while. So we're just gonna set it down here. But this is a great book. I got it from my um teacher actually. Some great stuff in there. Yeah. Uh, next, this is actually my journal uh, for my practice because I have a structured practice. Darwin Ortiz recommends this method. Um, I write down for the week what I'm going to do each day, what moves I practice for how long. So I'll have an actual order of how many times I do the move, then I move on to the next move, and I just write this whole thing. Right? So each day I do it. Next, I have... Uh, the Vanishing Queen, that's just a little book I got for a dollar. Uh, not really on magic, I thought it was. This is um, from my aunt. It's called No Practice Magic. It's a right book. It's pretty good. She's little tricks in here. Set that down there. Next we have, this is a great book. This book right here. Um, this is actually, well, that's, that's, that's the first one. Then I got Mark Wilson's book. This one's the first one, Street Magic by Paul Zenon. He is, uh, he's English. He's great. Um, it has a lot of close-up tricks, but it's for street performers and stuff. There's Fast and Loose in here, Three Card Money. It's a great book. I love this book. Um, and right here, these two books are not, these two are not books on magic. They're on card games and... How to win at gin always. <laughs> now these four books here, I'm going to actually bring these out because I want you to see these. Uh, put these out here. So I'm going to show them to you one at a time. Alright, the first book is Card Games. Card Games is about different games to play with cards. I like to use the different card games and make tricks out of them. Gambling tricks. Optical Illusions. Just cool. <laughs> I just think it's cool. Tricks and pranks. I actually look at this book for gags. I don't do the things in the book. I well, I do sometimes, but uh, it's usually for pranks. And these are card tricks. Some of these are all right, but uh, most of them I just make n different tricks out of to make it more convincing and more amazing, right? Those books are all right. They're just little things you get from Five Below or something, like a dollar books. Uh, so that pretty much concludes my books for now. For my birthday, I'm going to be getting two new books, Strong Magic and Designing Miracles by Doran Ortiz. Um, all these books, uh, let me get the camera. All these notebooks over here are filled with my writings of magic, the different tricks I've created and stuff. You'll see, like, in this book, um, scripts, routines, and funny lines, um, all different kinds of stuff. I actually wrote a book right here on card cheating, different card cheating methods. Alright, we're going to go to the final top layer. Alright, so this is the final top layer. This is my uh, poker chip set and stuff. This is my money, actually. Um, these are uh, little sticky notes for my books. I write sticky notes in there so I remember stuff. Just a little decorative eight ball because I love pool also. I have a pool table. And uh, move over, we got a nice little close-up pad here, and a bunch of paper here that I just used to write, and they go inside those manuscripts down there. And so that pretty much concludes my, um, one of my shelves. I'm going to be doing some more videos, um, about my shelves, so, yeah. And, uh, next video is going to be on my playing card collection, so, yeah. See ya.